Yo, 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 what's going on folks? Zelda Geek back once again, and this time with a video of the update, just showing you guys, for one, how to activate it, and just showing it in motion, shall I say. So, first off, if you want to activate uh, the gamepad gameplay on the Nintendo Wii U, first you go into uh, game settings, and you set it to Wii U Gamepad Type 2. So, uh, Wii U Gamepad Type 1 will display the gamepad and touch controls and things like that. You'll see that on your bottom screen, but if you put it to Game Type 2, this is what you'll see. Alright folks, we are back. So now we're actually in the game. This is on the gamepad. Uh, this isn't um, me recording it off of my TV. Uh, and Everything's good. So let's go ahead and take a look. Let's go... Uh, move around, let's go online, let's see how how many servers they ended up adding or if the servers are still down because they just went down a couple seconds ago but alright yeah so the, ser the servers are down at the moment but as you can see it's pretty easy you don't need to use the TV anymore you can walk around move around um, hell you can even do like before and you know be portable and mobile I mean, if you don't have a 3DS you can walk around and play the game so yeah Anyways, let's go ahead and run around and go on a quick mission. Um, I need to do a couple missions, so let's let's go do a, a small mission, something that'll be pretty fast and, and easy to do. Uh, let's just do a a quick harvest tour, just so you know you can see the actual game on the gamepad. So let's move in, start it up. Now I'll go ahead and turn the sound on. Okay. Alright, so there we go. Let me focus you in. Alright. So, and right now I'm using the classic controller, so I'm not using the, the game pad. I'm just using the regular controller. So it's pretty easy to set it up, and uh, it looks pretty, pretty good, in my opinion, on the uh, on the gamepad. And what I'm seeing right now, I can see it on the TV as well as on the gamepad. So it's pretty cool, if I do say so myself. Now the only thing that you would lose is you wouldn't have the quick. Uh, touchscreen functions, I believe, uh, that you would have without it. So, um, things like that will be out. The loss of the second screen. Um, if you were big on using the, the, the Wii U to do like a quick combo list or things like that, unless there's a way you can set it up to put it on the screen, I think that's pretty much gone. So... Matter of fact, since we have some time, let's let's let's, let's take a look. Uh, discard. So let's take a look. Options. Uh, Wii U gamepad type two. So if I set it to type one, then it goes back. But if I set it to type two, it goes. All right. Well, that is. Uh, I think that is the only thing that we can do for the time being. So, let me uh, go ahead and stop here, and I'm, oh, okay, it's finished. Well, let's uh, go ahead and stop here. I'm going to pick up in the town and see if there's anything we can do as far as just uh, customizing the, the bottom screen at all. So, stay tuned, and we'll be back shortly. All right, folks, so we are back in town. Well, like I said, the only way to uh, take this off or enable it, uh, shall I say, is you need to go over to Wii U Gamepad and have it on Type 2. As soon as you go to Type 1, uh, it goes back. So the only thing that you really lose would be the, the quick access menus at the bottom, the quick combo list. I mean, these are all things that you can do, you know, while playing the game. You don't need to look down. Uh, but just the convenience is gone. But you're able to walk around and I must say it looks pretty awesome on the gamepad so 
Anyways, I can't wait to see some of you guys online. Hopefully the servers come up soon so we can start playing together. Uh, other than that, you guys definitely take care. I'm about to jump on this game pad and uh, go super lazy and lay in the bed and play some Monster Hunter. So, uh, hey, have fun, take care, and uh, thanks for watching. Peace. Hope to see you guys online. Like I was saying, if um, now that the servers emerge, uh, if you guys want to join up, want to play, let me know. Give me your uh, your Nintendo Network IDs, and uh, yeah, let's have fun. Happy hunting. All right, folks, on an amazing turn of events, the servers actually came back up, so I figured I would go ahead and add that right now. Uh, so as you can see now, there's the for a small time, the servers were like this. I remember like during launch week, there was a whole bunch of different uh, servers that were set up like this. So I don't know if it was like a quick test or if it was an accidental slip up. But uh, as you can see, there's A, B, C, D, E, F for free. Uh, you have two novice lobbies, two expert lobbies, two G rank lobbies, and now there's four help lobbies. So uh, ones that are specifically named help. Um, yeah, that's that's interesting. They took away the recruitment servers. I mean, a lot of people really didn't use them. A lot of people really aren't going to use help A, B, C, and D. But they probably will just for the sake of, um, you know, if they want to organize or hopefully, hopefully they actually get utilized, you know, hopefully because that would be pretty cool. But anyways, that is about it. Hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, hope, like I said in the part previous to this, Hopefully, well, I hope to see some of you guys online. So, thanks for watching and uh, take care. Peace. I'm jumping online.